it's Miss Kirsten and welcome to the Project Return online classroom. For today's art lesson, we're going to be doing a mindful art puzzle for ourselves. So let's get started today. For this project, you will need any type of paper, whatever size you like, a pencil or pen, any drawing instrument, a ruler for our edges. You can use paint and a brush, but any markers or colors will be fine for this project as well. And finally, some scissors to cut our puzzle when we get to that. So first step, which will be the back of this piece. Once it's finished, I am marking out my grid lines for my puzzle. So for this piece of paper, I'm just marking two inches apart on one side and three inches on the other. So for this size paper, I will end up with 15 puzzle pieces that I can play with once it's done. You can make your pieces as large or as small as you want. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to finish marking this paper and I will come back to talk more as we flip the page. So once we've got our grid lines down, it's time to flip the page and start our painting. So I'm using a blue paint today and I will be making just all kinds of different marks and shapes on my paper. I'm not going to care too much about how they turn out, I'm just going to take some time, reflect, and draw whatever I feel I enjoy in that moment. So I used a blue paint today, but you can use a mix of colors if you wanted to. Again, you can use markers, crayons, anything you like if you don't have paint whatever makes you happy for this piece. Just taking our time and drawing out those shapes however we like. I'll take a moment to let you enjoy this piece as it comes together, and I'll come back to talk to you as we begin making the puzzle. So now would be a good time to mention that I got this art lesson idea from an art educator on TikTok, Serendipity1. It's always okay to take ide others' ideas and work on them yourselves, but always remember to give credit to the original creators. So as I'm finishing up this piece here, just making those last marks, I'm going to take this once it's dry and we will cut it into our puzzle pieces. So from here, we're going to flip the page back over once it's dry and begin cutting our puzzle with those grid lines we drew out originally. Make sure to take your time, cut those edges as clean and straight as you like, but go ahead and do that. We'll come back and start arranging our puzzle. cutting those puzzle pieces I will take them and shuffle them up into a different order so that when I lay them out on the table they should be in a different order than the way we painted them. Some might still be close together to their neighbors but you can always take for this next step and rearrange them however you like. That will be the next fun part of this art lesson is taking the time to arrange and combine our puzzle however we like. So I'm just going to start taking and flipping cards however I feel best. I want to lay out the composition, maybe changing some of those bigger pieces and putting them over one way, maybe flipping a card upside down or something, however I want to arrange them, whatever speaks to me. 
So have some fun, enjoy arranging your pieces as you like, and I'll come back to talk about the final piece. little adjustments I think I'm done with this art lesson for today but the fun part is you can always rearrange these pieces again however you like thanks so much for watching you guys I hope you enjoyed this mindful art lesson today and created a cool puzzle for yourself remember to stop back into project return online classroom again for more lessons and I'll see you soon bye